Hi YouTube, Bobby from Buff here. Uh, I'm going to do a demonstration on how I put on my Stormtrooper costume, how it's stowed in this tote, and uh, how I put it on. I'm purposefully doing it in my basement in the corner where I don't have much space because uh, when I do appearances for charities, for different uh, activities like with my various groups that I'm a part of, the, the 501st Legion, the Northridge, um, we typically don't get a lot of space to change and we're sharing it with other costumers. So, with that in mind, I'm, I'm in my corner here without any real space to work with, purposefully so you can see a realistic idea of what it's like to get suited up as a stormtrooper. So, first of all, I keep my helmet separate in this uh, motorcycle bag. It's a, a Raider motorcycle bag. And I keep the helmet in there along with a bunch of my electronics. So, there's the helmet. And I keep my voice amplifier and my uh, voice amp and the iCom system separate. And then here are the cords that go with that. Um, I also have uh, helmet fans. I'm not going to bother with those right now because I'm not going to wear the costume for more than a few minutes. So it won't matter. Um, I also keep a bottle of Rain-X anti-fog in my bag and I spray the lenses before I put the helmet on. Helps prevent fog buildup uh, when I am doing a troop. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start off by putting this to the side here and this to the side here. Um, you'll notice I'll need a little extra space. I'm going to use this space here. Um, uh, you'll see how it goes. Uh, the first thing I'm going to put on is the, um, is the headset. Because, uh, as you notice, I'm already wearing the neck seal and the black suit. I have shorts on. I'm going to pull those off when I get to that point. Um, but I just wanted to, to give you a realistic idea of what it's like to go through this. So here's, the, here's my microphone. This is going to connect to the ICOM, and then from the ICOM, it's going to connect to the voice amplifier. So I just tuck this in through my neck seal, and there is a hole in the neck seal where I can poke the cord through so that it's hidden within the costume. So there we go. So there's the cord. Now I'll open this up and I'll show you how it's set up inside. I have the big tote. Um, this is the Husky brand tote. Uh, I have a tape measure here. It's about uh, 24 inches by 38 inches by 24 inches. So that's the, the tote that I have. It's the really big one. Um, a lot of guys get away with the smaller one, but I have a lot of extra stuff in here that I keep. So you can see this tray has a bunch of items in it. Uh, right off the bat, I can move that to the side. I have three pairs of gloves that I keep in here. Um, some are for when I need to be a little more accurate. Some are for when I want to just be more comfortable. Um, so I have these a little bit thicker gloves for warmer weather. These are really thin ones for um, when it, it doesn't matter if I'm 100% perfect. Uh, and then I have these ones, which are the screen accurate uh, rubber rubber gloves with the flexible hand guards. Um, for today I'm just going to go with the uh, the easiest ones to put on which are those and then there are my separate hand guards. Okay so I'm going to keep those separate and keep those off the floor where I can reach them. Once I'm suited up I'll have a hard time bending over so I want to keep things off the floor as much as I can as I go through this. Okay so um, you saw that I'm going to pull out a bunch of stuff so I can get ready to start putting it on. Here we have my belt with my uh, attached uh, holster. That I typically hang on the side of my tote, just like that, okay? Another thing I have in here is a mirror. I pull that out like that, and uh, after I get my boots out of here, I have two pairs of boots in here. Um, these are my accurate ones, so I'll put these on for you so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, then I have two blasters in here. Here's the... Um, my chest plate, shoulder bells, biceps, and forearms. Uh, I keep it all together. So this is one piece. And I'll just put that on like a, almost like a sweatshirt later on. Um, but a lot of guys keep these parts separate. For me, this is a simpler way to do it. So I'll put that right there where I'll be able to reach it later. This is my harness. I'm going to put this on uh, to hold the thighs up in place. Oh, here's my dog Hitch. He's coming to investigate. Um, then I have two blasters in here. This one is not screen accurate. This is the one that I use. Uh, it complies with New York State law. It has an orange tip. And I, if I want to let a kid hold my blaster, this is the one 
that I carry on that troop. Also makes a cool sound. So I'll put that one aside for now. Here's my Screen Accurate 11 Blaster. This is made from a Doopy Doo's uh, resin kit. And this one is the legit Screen Accurate one. So put that one aside. Okay. Now from there, the way I have this set up in here, I'll pull this out a little bit. Inside uh, the clamshell of the, the, cot, the ab plate, the kidney plate, and the butt plate, I have uh, my thighs and my shins tucked into one another, shins and greaves. So I'll pull this apart. Um, I tuck them in usually the way that they go. So uh, this is the right shin, right greave, right thigh. Okay, and I, you'll see there I have, uh, on the inside I have a buckle that's attached with E11, or uh, excuse me, E6000. So that's going to go on the right leg. And I'll keep the boots here. Pull the left shin out. There is the, the left uh, sniper plate with the shin and greave. And then the same thing with the thigh. The buckle is attached to the inside. So that's going to just go over here. Now we'll pull this item out. And I'll put this to the side. Uh, actually, I can just leave this in here for now. So I'm going to put this back in here. The reason I put that back in is there's a little lip and it prevents the mirror from falling. So the mirror is kind of secure in there if that uh, extra caddy is in there. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do uh, is put on my harness, which I pulled out and I set aside right here. Okay, so uh, I'll put this on next. I'll take these shorts off and this harness, the way that I've designed it, um, everyone can do this differently. It's, it's very uh, personal how you prefer to have this set up. Um, mine is set up like this where I have, it's already buckled, that's why. Um, I have the, the chest set up here with a, a little strap there to hold on some of my electronics. So I'm going to put my arms through on either side like this. And I'm going to pull this over my head, just like this. Okay, so that goes down like that. And then I'll have this buckle, which will attach to this side. I'm a little twisted here. Oh, sorry. I didn't really prep this. I'm, this is very realistic because this is how it goes. You have to sometimes make an adjustment while you're donning your stuff. Okay, so here we go. There's the... Uh, the buckle that goes around my waist. These are going to come down the garters and they're going to hold on to the thighs. So the next thing I'm going to put on is going to be the uh, the left thigh and the put the thigh on first, right? So that goes on just like so. And uh, I won't buckle that just yet, but that's where it buckles. And then I'll put on the left boot, which you'll see in a minute why. Put that left boot on while well, I still have some mobility with my leg. I can move this down if I need to, and I can put my foot in. Okay, now I can pull this up and buckle it. Now that I have my foot in there securely, here's the left shin and the left greave. Mine are Velcro, they're not the uh, screen accurate version. I'm not a uh, centurion or uh, expert infantry. I'm just a regular old stormtrooper. So I use Velcro, it's easier. Um, okay, so there's a left leg. Okay, now you want to <laughs> not drop stuff as you go because once you get this stuff on, it's hard to bend over. So this one you want to put on, and then the right, the right boot is next. Okay, just like that. Now I can buckle. And I have the right shin and the right greave, which fits around here. And that just velcros on the back. Okay, so now I have that in place. I can grab my kidney plate, butt plate, and ab plate is all attached. This side I never undo. This side is where I have more reliable snaps, so I this is the side that I separate. So I pull it in over my head with the suspenders. Just like so. Okay. Got that. All right. Now I have the uh, the the strap that goes underneath here. Has a very.
Okay, sorry about that. I was having an issue with my camera. Um, so let me show you just this one more time. So the uh, the butt plate, kidney plate, and ab plate are all one piece. I'm going to pull that right over my hood. Use the suspenders to hold it in place. And then I'm going to grab the strap that goes from the butt plate to the underneath the cod piece and snap that in place to hold that down. Then I'm going to take the straps on the side here, and this one's the lower one. Snap those in place. Okay. Then I'm going to put on my belt. I use the mirror to line the belt up. Uh, my belt has some velcro on the inside of it, and also on the front of the ab plate. That helps just keep it in place for me. Uh, it's not, not uh, necessarily the way that everyone does it, but I like to do it this way because it, it I find it helps me uh, keep it in place in a better way. So pull that around, make sure that this overlaps the right way, and then I'm going to take my velcro and just connect it. My thermal detonator is already secured on. Um, I have it set up where it wraps around. I use my mirror now to make sure that I'm lined up the way that I like. Okay, uh, the next step, I'm going to grab my voice uh, voice system. So this is my ICOM Imperial Communication device, and um, I've got the the uh, out the headphone out to the headphone size cord there. I'm going to use the uh, strapping on my harness here. Open that up and slide this guy on here. Just like that, and then I'm going to secure that in place with the Velcro. I'll take the the headphone jack, the mic, uh, sorry, the microphone jack, and plug that into the side. And then the output goes from here, and I'll wrap that through the strapping, bring it to the side, and then I'm going to plug in my voice amp here. Turn that on. Check, check, check. So I find that's a fairly good volume. It's not feeding back. It sounds good. So that's good. So I'm going to unplug it. You want to unplug that while you're getting ready for the, everyone else in the room because as you're breathing heavy and doing stuff, you're going to set off the, the static burst if you have the, uh, the automatic burst on. They also have a push to talk uh, with finger controls, which I don't use. But um, you don't want that to keep setting off while you're uh, getting ready. So. Uh, now I've got the uh, strapping here. I'm going to show you here where this harness strap goes down is where I link, I hook this on here. So that just clips on with the belt clip and then I just stuff it in there like that. And it kind of keeps it uh, like that. It's far enough away from my mic that it doesn't feed back on me. Check, check. Check, check, check. Okay, so that's good. All right, now uh, we're going to keep going on. I'm just going to keep that tucked to the side there where I can get at it. And then um, next thing I'm going to put on the, um, the back plate, chest plate, shoulder bells, biceps, forearms are all connected, all one piece. That's just the way I, I set mine up. Everyone does this differently. Um, so I'm going to slide this right over my head like a shirt. I put the microphone in my mouth. so I don't lose it <laughs> while I'm doing that step. Then I just wiggle that down, get it around the neck seal all the way, and I'll just slide my left arm through the bicep and forearm piece, and do the same thing with my right arm here. Make sure that's not twisted. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, uh, the next step I want to put on is uh, got a, a headband. Oh, I don't know what I did with it. Well, anyways, uh, you'll want to put on like a headband or balaclava or something at this point to keep the microphone in place while your helmet is on. At least I do. That's what I like to do. So, uh, I don't see it. I must have dropped it or something. Anyways, um, so I feel like that's pretty good. Now I want to uh, I'm gonna put my gloves on last, but I want to put those where I can grab them easily. So I'll take my gloves, my hand guards, and my blaster, and set those up on a higher surface where I can reach it. So even like this is okay. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to don my helmet. 
First, I would normally uh, start the fans, which I have installed inside, but I'm only going to wear this for a moment, so I'll just uh, skip that step. Put the mic back in my mouth to pull the helmet on over my ears. Okay. Now I can plug back in. So these are not the uh, most accurate gloves, but they're the most comfortable ones that I own. So typically I wear these for most troops. Okay. Now this is the left hand guard. This has a loop and I put that right on. And the right one. And I'm ready to troop. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope this uh, that clar clarifies any of the ways that uh, I get suited up with my costume, and I hope you enjoyed. So please feel free to share, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. May the force be with you.